Mr. Please. So I've got news for you, John McCain. We all put our country first. No, we do not. He hasn't been putting his country first uh, uh, since uh, he was elected. He has told the, uh, the uh, uh, heartland of America, he has told everybody to just shut up and sit down. He's going to run this show exactly the way he sees fit. Thank you. And, uh, uh, and he doesn't want any interruption. You see, the, the left is very good at uh, uh, getting you to celebrate their ideas. They're all inclusive. Yeah, and, but it, what they don't like is they, they don't want anybody's ideas other than their own, you know. Uh, and, and so uh, uh, he's now going to say, well, we're all uh, champions of freedom and we love America. No, we don't. His politic does not. It's anti-American. He is an anti-American president. Give me a number three, Dave. These are common sense ideas, ideas that have been supported by both Democrats and Republicans. The only thing holding them back is politics. The only thing preventing us from passing these bills is the refusal by some in Congress yeah. to put country ahead of party. That's the problem we have right now. Yeah. That's what's holding this country back. Uh -huh. That's what we have to change. Uh -huh. that, what's holding this country back is you, Mr. President, and everybody you brought in from Chicago. Everybody that is on that train, on that bus, on skateboards, everybody that you tagged along into, into Washington that, that was given the mandate and the marching orders to destroy and change this country in its entirety, fundamentally destroy the structure of America and turn it into Greece, actually. And it's funny that, uh, that uh, uh, you know, I always say this, Mike, that uh, the problem that, that we have today isn't so much people like Barack Obama, because those people exist in the world. This country has all, always uh, been able to spot the evildoer. And, uh, uh, and make no mistake, this guy is an evildoer. And uh, what, what has always been uh, aggravating for me is to see what good men uh, will not do. And the, the good men in this country uh, are not in, in, in public office. No, that's for sure. They're not in public office. And uh, they're not doing what uh, good men are not doing what they should do. They did in November, and, uh, and we had an overwhelming uh, 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 victory to, to put a stop to the momentum of this terrible anti-American politic. And uh, I, I'm always thinking that uh, somewhere down the road, you know, uh, an individual will pop up and be able to step up and answer these things. Uh, play number uh, three again for me, just, just a second, would you? Number three here, that sounds yeah. like three. This is these are common sense ideas, ideas that have been supported by both Democrats and Republicans. That's the problem. The only thing holding them back is politics. No, it's not. The only thing preventing us from passing these bills is the refusal by some in Congress Compromise country ahead standards. of parties. That's the problem we have right now. Yeah. That's what's holding this country back. Really? That's what we have to change. Really? It's that simple, Mike. So he's got it down pretty simple. And you heard the Barack Obama from uh, the Democratic National Convention in 2008, and then this last uh, soundbite here from his uh, weekly address. Same kind of rhetoric, same yeah, thing it, going it, down. There is no difference in, in the message. He's scrambling. He's not very good on his feet, as we all know. Uh, and... Uh, and uh, this politic has has been worn out, beaten up, and been proven to to fail uh, the human spirit wherever it has been. And he's now going to have to next 15 months. He's now going to try to have to repackage this, and now present this failed politic to people as if it's it's only just a difference of an opinion. After all, aren't we all just Americans and love the same country? You know, and, 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 that's, and that's really uh, his only hope. And if he can get that past the American people, if he can get that past the 66% of dumbass white people that put this guy into office two and a half, three years ago with this, uh, this middle-of-the-road, this uh, bleeding heart, uh, okay, I guess he's a handsome black guy. I guess we got to put him into office. Yeah, see, I'm not racist. Now I'm just going to put an X next to his name, and, and that'll be it. And then uh, it'll be okay because he, he's, he's a bitching guy. And, uh, and, and after all, we've been racist long enough, you dumb white people. And so what happened? is we now have that that lukewarm bathwater of idiocy that we're all sitting in lukewarm bathwater of, of idiocy that of we idiocy. are all sitting in thanks to the the feckless reprobates the cowardice 
of, uh, of good people, mm-hmm. good people voted for this guy out of the, out of being intimidated for of of of, of saying that. Uh, that there'll never be a black guy to be president of the United States. I don't care. I don't care who it is. I'll give you a couple of people right now. How about uh, Thomas Sowell? I'd vote for him. How about Herman Cain? Uh, how about Herman Cain? How about Shelby Steele? You know, uh, how, how about and nothing uh, to do about colors? It's got nothing to do about no, race. It, it, it's, it's the it's, best it's, man it's, for it's the job. It's about ideas. It's about ideas. But the politic is, it's about the racism, right? That's the politics. Yeah, th- that's that's what that's what I want to make I sure. I knew you'd get warmed up yeah, here. That's what I that's what I want to make sure that, that we're 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 all looking at. You know, it's not the argument of s- solving a problem. We've got to have jobs. Of course, we have to have jobs. It's it's above that. What you have to do is understand the form of government you're being sold. You're being sold a form of government that has failed everywhere it's been. Why? a Republican candidate doesn't stand up and stay to the American people and get right to it. Instead of talking about, if you elect me, I'll build jobs. I'll bring jobs back to Cleveland. You know, I'll open up that manufacturing plant down near the lake. Uh, you know, and I promise the lake won't catch fire this time. You know, and, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, w- once we get off into that and start talking about what this country needs, yes. it needs a spirit. It needs a spine. It needs to like itself again. It needs to be rallied into it a... It needs to like itself it, again. It Someone has to, to get be, us together. It needs yes. to understand the mistake they made and why so they can correct it but now. But nobody's move saying forward. that. Fred, well, that's a, no one's saying that it's a mistake and no one's saying that they well, need to realize it. Except for the Tea Party. The tea, yeah, and that's yeah. why there was the big backlash on the election. You know, you, you, you do know this. That in 1964, you know, the, the be- I, I, I keep saying this. Forgive me, folks. Uh, the, my beautiful uh, image of the of the '60s was 1964. Really? What's what was going in '64? You know, I was 18 but, years old. in 1964. Okay, 64. Uh, my math, my San Diego State math is correct. Yeah, that okay. puts me at 18 years of age. And, and so, uh, you know, Martin Luther King is at, at the at the White House in the rotunda, and here's President Johnson, that bloated toad, that that coward, that guy, the worst president in the United States. My fellow you know, Americans. Yeah, this guy, this jackass. I will not accept this constipation. Hated the peon who uh, this 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 Texas dolt, my fellow Mark, who who uh, uh, you know ten gallon hatted America right into the great society. I will not seek. And, no and, and what it. happens is this guy signs the free uh, the papers freeing the blacks and then t- takes the pens and hands them up like that to Martin Luther King and he hands him an ink pen and that's and at the end of the day that night on the way back to Mississippi, <laughs> Martin Luther King's on the bus in the front this time, looking out the window and reading the inscription on the ink pen. What's Uh, on there? Uh, congratulations, you are free now, uh, LBJ. <laughs> you know, and, and he took that ink pen home and sat on it, sat on this ink pen for like six years, from 64 to 70, before the bell went off and said, hey, wait a minute, we want some money for this crap. <laughs> what are we doing? We Aren't we going to get paid for this crap? We got the crap beat out of us and, and German shepherds and fire hoses. Exactly. And all of this crap, Selma, Alabama, Mississippi, you know, all of this stuff, you know, uh, and, and we want to get paid for this. So here's what happens. 1970, the government funds racism and equality. And what you have today is the ridiculous afterbirth of this hideous politic that has come home to roost, folks.